All new for you tonight, the push to get Metro running late night hours again. This week, Metro's board will vote on a plan that could make that happen. The political pressure is building. Transportation reporter Pete Monteith has been following this from the start. So Pete, what's the plan? Well, essentially, this would send Metro back in time to 2017. It was June of that year when Metro's board scaled back service. It was all a safety issue. Metro said the crews needed more time to work overnight. This is what's in front of the board right now. Scaling hours back to midnight closings on weeknights, closing at 3 a.m. on weekends. It is not quite 2017 service, but it's pretty darn close. So what's the chance of this passing? Well, I think this does pass this time because the board is entirely different. The game is entirely different. Remember, back in 2017, Metro was not in a good state of repair. There were fires all the time. The trains were late all the time. Reliability was very low. Now we've seen that uh, turn into new page. There's also a lot of political pressure. Mayor Bowser says that this has to happen. Metro has to be there for folks getting off work late at night, leaving a bar or something like that, uh, that Metro needs to be there, that, that Uber and Lyft cannot be their only option. And also Metro's uh, own union of employees says that they have the time to do the work overnight and that mm -hmm. Metro should do this. Even though Metro's staff says don't do this, it'll make the system less reliable. Luckily though, there's a bit of a runway built into this. If this passes on Thursday, it won't go into effect until July 1st, 2020. All right, so they've got some time That's right. to make sure the plan is fully, you know, reviewed, vetted, mm -hmm. and ready. Yep. All right, Pete, you know, we know you'll be following <laughs> this.